subsidies for fossil fuel industry, no more drilling on federal lands, no more drilling, including offshore, no ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. Number one. Directs the Secretary of the Interior to stop issuing new oil and gas leases on public lands and, offshore, and in offshore waters. A thousand troops on the Ukrainian border, the price of gasoline in January went up 75 cents. Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fault of Putin. Gas didn't cause this problem. Vladimir Putin did. And we're and we are working on to fix it. It doesn't look like Americans are falling for that talking point. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, of course they did. I mean, look, the laptop was real. The emails were real. The eyewitness Tony Bobolinsky was real. The only thing fake at about a, a year and a half ago was the news. Uh, you're exactly right. Big tech, big Democrat Party and big media all colluded to keep critical information from the American people in the run-up to the most important election we have, a presidential election. So we're launching an investigation because the real thing here was how Facebook and Twitter suppressed this information. What did they know? Who were they talking to? That's what our letters that just went out today to Facebook and Google saying, tell us on Twitter, excuse me, tell us what, what, um, what you knew, who you were talking with, why you made this decision, because we now know, according to the Post, according to the New York Times, something we knew a year and a half ago, that this stuff was as real as it gets. Now, we're talking influence peddling here at the very highest level. Is President Biden, Vice President Biden in those days, is he drawn directly into it? Well, remember the email, 10% for the big guy. That's it. Remember the big guy slash Joe Biden, the big guy, the now president of the United States. He's also the one who fired or pushed for the firing of the Ukrainian prosecutor who was starting to look into Burisma, the company that was paying Hunter. So I think that fact pattern warrants investigation. Maybe that's what the FBI is looking into. We don't know. We know that the Justice Department's looking at the tax issue. That's been reported. Whether they're looking at that, we're not sure. But Hunter Biden took money from the wife of the mayor, Moscow, took money from Burisma, the Ukrainian company, energy company, and took money from companies with connections to the Chinese Communist Party. That in and of itself is scary enough and, and, and warrants an investigation. So we'll have to see how far it goes, who's all connected. But we know his uncle and we know the president was the big guy mentioned in that now somewhat so famous. There's a lot of issues that the, the, the Justice Department has looked into, including, of course, uh, this laptop that uh, on the right wing has, has featured a lot of a lot of stories about, about Hunter Biden. We know the FBI has possession of it and that they believe it is his laptop, that the contents of it so are So something's his. going on with Joe Biden. His poll numbers are absolutely tanking, but it seems like elements within the Democratic Party are turning on him. We're not going to pretend we understand exactly what's going on here, but something definitely is. Here's this example, and you remember this very well. Just before the last election, the New York Post ran a story about the contents of Hunter Biden's laptop. It was a huge story, but big tech censored it immediately. CNN and dozens of other former Intel officials told us that laptop was Russian disinformation. There are fears that what Giuliani is now pushing here in the United States could actually be part of Russia's latest and very massive disinformation campaign in the U.S. presidential election. So you have a president who is asking to obtain Russian disinformation, knowing that that is what it is. He is accepting that same information, and he is then turning it and using it on the campaign trail against uh, his, his opponent. And that's mind-blowing. It's sort of a, a crazy quilt at this point, uh, uh, which has all the hallmarks of, of, of Russian disinformation. That said, it, it wasn't for lack of trying. CNN reported on Friday that U.S. authorities are seeing if those emails we just talked about are connected to an ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Huh. So it turns out when they accuse people of Russian disinformation, they're not always sincere. Of course, they're liars. They'll say whatever they need to say. That was before the election. They needed to get Biden elected. They did it. But now they're telling you something very different. Now they're telling you, in fact, the laptop is real. Here's CNN yesterday. This is very, very bad for the president's son. It is. And it's an investigation, as you pointed out, going back to 2018. And, and right now, 
prosecutors in Delaware uh, are, are focusing on a number of things, including whether Hunter Biden and, and some of his business associates uh, violated laws, including tax and money laundering laws and foreign lobbying laws. They're now gaining steam and they need to make a decision, I think, in the at least intermediate future. This case has been going on for four years and there is a realistic chance this could result in federal charges. Of course, then we'd be in unprecedented political territory, not legal territory, but a situation of having potentially the Justice Department prosecuting and trying to imprison the son of the president. What a freak show that channel is. Good luck to their new subscription service. But now they're telling you, yeah, it's all true, actually. And that's not the only story about Russian disinformation that has fallen apart this week. The Federal Election Commission just fined the DNC and Hillary Clinton, her campaign, more than $100,000. The FEC determined that the Clinton campaign tried to hide its role in funding the Steele dossier. Steel dossier is the false document that claimed, among many other things, that Putin got Trump elected. Turns out the disinformation was, in fact, paid for by the campaign. It was coming from the DNC.